Hey everybody, my name is Dylan Moses and I'm a sales engineer here at Synopsys. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about consolidating risk visibility with Software Risk Manager. One of the common challenges I'm hearing from my customers is that they're using dozens of security solutions and that they're all siloed. Security and development teams are required to log into these various tools throughout the day just to get the information that they need to do their jobs. This creates an inability to get the whole context and makes comprehensive risk assessment quite difficult. The solution here is to utilize Software Risk Manager to synthesize all of this data to provide a centralized application security source of truth. With Software Risk Manager, you're also able to centrally set policy. It also highlights actionable findings for your team to focus on and can generate impactful metrics. Let's see what this looks like inside of Software Risk Manager. What we're looking at now is the dashboard for the Synopsys project group. It has many different sub projects underneath it, and this is a roll up report so that we can see how the organization is performing. The first thing that we're gonna see is this Software Risk Manager risk score. And this is calculated based on the types of scans you're doing and how you're performing against those scans. There's also some finding count trend data over here to the right hand side that lets you know if the findings are going up or down over time and what sorts of tools these findings are coming from. With these open findings, we can see what classification they have, the percent that's been triaged and the average days to resolution. Additionally, for this project group, we can see the code metrics. So what is our organization using, generally speaking, a lot of C++. We can see whether the lines of code are going up or down, code churn, cyclomatic complexity, and a few other things. If we scroll down a little bit, we can also see the analysis frequency. So how often are we actually running these various types of scans? And we can see our security backlog. So are we creating more issues over time or reducing issues over time? And what are our top finding types? This can help highlight areas of opportunity for training for our developers. Now this project dashboard is available on sub projects as well. So if you're a manager and you need to focus specifically on projects that are important to you, you don't necessarily have to view this information at a roll up level or a top level. So let's take a look at the projects dashboard. Again, we're going to be focusing on the Synopsys top level project here. We can see that we've divided Synopsys into different geographical regions. And the iconization within SRM kind of helps guide you to where you need to focus. So Europe, we can see that there's a policy violation here. Japan, it looks like there's a policy warn because some findings are due soon. And North America looks like it's on track. So let's focus on Europe here. We can see within Europe, the problem is the Bojit application. There are four policy violations that we need to focus on. So if we click on this, we can view the details around the security findings. We can also see that Docker Demo has quite a few policy violations that may come out of compliance soon and start failing this project. DVWA is on track and Kai Monkey also on track. Again, we can view the project dashboards on the individual level. If we click on the ellipses here and click on dashboard, and we can focus in just on this project here. So what is the advantage here? Leveraging a policy driven workflow in software risk manager is going to help you narrow your focus and manage your application security posture. Set policy once, standardize it across your organization and dive into where you need to focus. You can define high priority areas so teams know where to start their day. We can also provide organization and team level project metrics, which helps with reporting and getting that centralized view that's missing with all of these various point solutions. Thanks for listening and please feel free to reach out if you have any questions.